All right, so interviewed this guy his rookie year, right? So now we're here. Yeah. You're in Dallas, man. So how's it been for you in Dallas so far? It's been great. Uh, everybody's been welcoming. Uh, organization is great. It's, you know, as it seems from the outside, it really is that way. And, uh, you know, Dallas is a great city, so I'm excited to be here. I love it, love it. So obviously there was quite a few teams that had your interest, obviously, you know, that wanted your service, but you picked the Mavericks. What was really the ultimate reason why that you wanted to come to Dallas? Yeah, I mean, first of all, just with the organization I always represented, you know, they always had a championship mentality, uh, championship way of where they wanted to go about doing things. So, uh, you know, starting with that, and then obviously, you know, the, the two main guys that are here, uh, just the things they're able to do on the floor and change games. Um, I just want to be able to be a part of that, uh, just kind of add in to helping this team do something special, and hopefully uh, we can do that. When you face this team, obviously, you had opportunities to face guard a guy like Luca. Now, just being able to watch him and practice these certain things, what's the things that you may have not knew about him that maybe in just the day, because I don't know, it's only been like a week you've been here probably, but what are some things that you've seen so far that you're like, wow? I mean, you're just like, wow, regardless. Uh, it's always that way. I wouldn't say that I've seen some things that I haven't before because I've caught him so many times that, and watched him so many times as like, the things that you know he's able to do is, are amazing, period. Uh, so I wouldn't say it's anything new, but it still is wild. Like in practice, it's the same way. It's not like it shows up in game. Like in practice, he's playing hard, you know, trying to get buckets, trying to win, which I think is amazing. I love it, love it. So got a question to ask you. This is my Mount Rushmore question I ask every player okay. of your alma mater. If you did the Mount Rushmore. That's a good question. And you got to put four on that mountaintop. Who will be the four? Brandon Roy, Isaiah Thomas. Who? Oh. His next two work is hard. From college, as far as the college basketball player? Yeah. Mm. John Brockman, because John Brockman was like a big deal when we were in college, but John Brockman was amazing. And then the fourth, let me go. Oh. I mean, there's some old heads like Nate Robinson can be there, Trey Simmons can be there. Then we can even go with Tony Roden can be there. DJ can be there. I don't know. The fourth one's hard. Yeah, it's tough. Watch the guys, guys, man. I don't know who I'm putting. I don't know who I'm putting in the fourth spot. That's hard. Right. So we'll 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 uh, make. We we'll, think about that. Yeah. That's yeah. Tough. We'll, we'll we'll come back to. It. We'll just say a bunch of those guys are the fourth guy. Yeah. So I like that. So you know, obviously being a part of your family, you know, the holiday family and stuff. The fact that all three of y'all are on video game, y'all on NBA 2K. Mm -hmm. I know probably growing up y'all played the video games and were like competitive with that. To see the brothers in the video game, including yourself, when you first saw yourself on the video game, what did you think? The first time I actually saw myself on the video game was when I was in college. Yeah. And I thought it was the craziest thing ever. You know, be on the video game, be able to actually uh, use yourself in the game. Um, I thought it was dope, and then I was like, well, I'm just trying to get as many points as I can with myself. The funny thing is, I'm not a big video game person. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So I don't even play that much. I never really played 2K with myself. But that college game, man, yeah, I thought it was amazing. So the thing is this, when you talk about you and your brothers, you know, typically when you have like a family deal, it's like everybody sort of plays the same, but then y'all play different. Yeah, we all play different. Was that just a thing that like when y'all played, obviously y'all probably played pick up ball versus other people and everybody had a different role just playing maybe three on three or something like that? No, but what I, is that about? I just think we all just develop different type of games of things that we – maybe wanted to do at a younger age, uh, different positions, heights, and stuff like that. I will say what we're all similar at is we do go, we play both sides of the ball. Um, so yeah, we have the same thing as far as how we go about playing, playing both sides of the ball, having the all around game is what our dad taught us to have. It's just some things, uh, you know, became more the, the, the peak performance and all those things. And one thing we all do is we're gonna guard. So <laughs> we're similar in a lot of ways, but yes, we're different for sure. Especially the offensive game. I love that. I love that. So, what's Justin Holiday listening to right now, music wise? I listen to a lot of praise and worship music, a lot of gospel, like Maverick City. Uh, there's a few other like new artists I listen to. I'm, I'm an R&B guy, so yeah, I'm, I don't really listen to much of the new stuff, new rap going down. Okay, let's just say if you know, there's a song called Holiday, and it's a, it's a song of tribute to to you and your brothers. You have one R&B artist to do the song. Who would be the person to do the song for y'all? Chris Brown. Oh, that's a yeah. Hey, yeah can't, go yeah, can't go wrong with that. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong with that. I like that. I like that. I like that. So, back to the Mavericks, and this would be the last question: the potential of this team. 
obviously adding Kyrie, you got Luka, you have your two All Stars, and you got a bunch of great role players. When you look at the potential of this team, what do you see? Because this was a Western Conference Finals team last year, mm-hmm. and as you see, when you signed on, the West kind of changed instantly yeah, overnight. Yeah. What do you see in this team? I see this team has the capability of doing something special. Uh, at the same time, like you said, the West is a lot better, so we have to make sure we hit the ground running tonight and doing things the way we want to. Uh, getting these details, uh, you know, taking care of them, playing very, very detail oriented, and then uh, you know, just going out there and having fun, though, and being loose. So, so you, we're, we're making shots, we're getting stops, having a good time. I think uh, one of the biggest things about this team, I don't know if people know about, is it's actually like a really good team to be around. A lot of good guys, the vibe is good, and that's important when you have a team that wants to do something special and win the championship. I love it. Well, Justin, you know, happy that you're here, man. We'll be talking again and.